Bogota, Spanish pronunciation, Buta, listen, officially Bogota, Distrito Capital, abbreviated Bogota, DC, and formerly known as Santa Fe, Santa Fe de Bogota between 1991 and 2000, is the capital and largest city of Colombia, administered as the capital district, although often erroneously thought of as part of Cundinamarca. Bogota is a territorial entity of the first order, with the same administrative status as the departments of Colombia. It is the political, economic, administrative, industrial, artistic, cultural, and sports center of the country. Bogotá was founded as the capital of the New Kingdom of Granada on August 6, 1538, by Spanish conquistador Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada after a harsh expedition into the Andes conquering the Musca. The Musca were the indigenous inhabitants of the region and called the settlement where Bogotá was founded Bacata, which in the Chibcha language means, the Lady of the Andes. Further, the word Andes in the Aymara language means shining mountain, thus rendering the full lexical signification of Bogotá as the Lady of the Shining Mountain. After the Battle of Boyaca on August 7, 1819, Bogotá became the capital of the independent nation of Gran Colombia. Since the Viceroyalty of New Granada's independence from the Spanish Empire and during the formation of present-day Colombia, Bogotá has remained the capital of this territory. The city is located in the center of Colombia, on a high plateau known as the Bogotá Savanna, part of the Altiplano Cundiboyacans located in the eastern cordillera of the Andes. It is the third highest capital in South America after Quito and La Paz, at an average of 2,640 meters 8 feet above sea level. Subdivided into 20 localities, Bogotá has an area of 1,587 square kilometers (613 square miles) and a relatively cool climate that is constant through the year. The city is home to central offices of the executive branch, Office of the President, the Legislative Branch, Congress of Colombia, and the Judicial Branch, Supreme Court of Justice, Constitutional Court, Council of State, and the Superior Council of Judicature of the Colombian government. Bogotá stands out for its economic strength and associated financial maturity, its attractiveness to global companies and the quality of human capital. It is the financial and commercial heart of Colombia, with the most business activity of any city in the country. The capital hosts the main financial market in Colombia and the Andean Natural Region, and is the leading destination for new foreign direct investment projects coming into Latin America and Colombia. It has the highest nominal GDP in the country, contributing most to the national total 24.7%, and it is the seventh largest city by size of GDP in Latin America about US$159,850 dollars. The city's airport, El Dorado International Airport, named after the mythical El Dorado, handles the largest cargo volume in Latin America, and is third in number of people. Bogotá is home to the largest number of universities and research centers in the country, and is an important cultural center, with many theaters, libraries and museums, of which the Museo del Oro is the most important. Bogotá ranks 52nd on the Global Cities Index 2014, and is considered a global city type, Alpha Minus, by GAWC. History The area of modern Bogotá was first populated by groups of indigenous people who migrated south based on the relation with the other Chibcha languages. The Bogotá Savanna was the southernmost Chibcha speaking group that exists from Nicaragua to the Andes in Colombia. The civilization built by the Musca, who settled in the valleys and fertile highlands of and surrounding the Altiplano Cundiboyacans modern-day departments of Cundinamarca and Boyaca and small parts of Santander, was one of the four great civilizations in the Americas. The name Musca Confederation has been given to a loose egalitarian society of various chiefs caciques who lived in small settlements of maximum 100 bohios. The agriculture and salt-based society of the people was rich in goldworking, trade and mummification. The religion of the Musca consisted of various gods, mostly related to natural phenomena as the sun sway, and his wife, the moon, Chia, rain Chibchakum, rainbow Kuchavira and with building and feasting and wisdom Bochica. Their complex luni solar calendar, deciphered by Manuel Izquierdo based on work by Duquesne, followed three different sets of years, where the sidereal and synodic months were represented. Their astronomical knowledge is represented in one of the few extant landmarks of the architecture of the Musca in El Infiernito outside Villa de Leyva to the north of Bogotá. 
Topic: <laughs> Pre-Columbian era. The first populations inhabiting the present-day metropolitan area of Bogota were hunter-gatherer people in the late Pleistocene. The oldest dated evidence thus far has been discovered in El Abra, 12,500 BP, north of Zipaquira. Slightly later dated excavations in a rock shelter southwest of the city in Socha provided ages of approximately 11,000 BP, to Kendama. Since around OAD, the Musca domesticated guinea pigs, part of their meat diet. The people inhabiting the Bogotá savanna in the late 15th century were the Musca, speaking Miscuban, a member of the Chibcha language family. Musca means, people, or, person, making, Musca people how they are called, a tautology. At the arrival of the conquerors, the population was estimated to be half a million indigenous people on the Bogotá savanna of up to two million in the Musca Confederation. They occupied the highland and mild climate flanks between the Samapas Mountains to the southwest and Kokai's snowy peak to the northeast, covering an approximate area of 25,000 square kilometers (9,653 square miles), comprising Bogota's high plain, the current Boyaca department portion, and a small Santander region. Trade was the most important activity of the Musca with other Chibcha-speaking neighbors, such as the Guan, Lache, and Yuwa, and with Caribbean groups as the Muzo or Emerald people. Their knowledge of salt production from brines, a task exclusively for the Musca women, gave them the name, salt people. Tropical fruits that didn't grow on the cool highlands, coca, cotton, and gold were traded at markets that took place every Musca week, every four days. At these frequent markets, the Musca obtained various luxury goods that seem worthless in modern sense, and precious metals and gemstones that seem valuable to us became abundant and used for various purposes. The Musca warrior elite was allowed to wear feathered crowns, from parrots and macaques whose habitat was to the east of the Andes, the Arakan speaking Guayup, Tegua, and Achagua. The Musca cuisine consisted of a stable and varied diet of tubers, potatoes, and fruits. Maize was the main ingredient of the Musca, cultivated on elevated and irrigated terraces. In Maiscuban exist many words for maize, corn, and the various types and forms of it. The product was also the base for chicha, the alcoholic beverage of the people, still sold in central Bogotá today. It was the drink for construction of houses, celebrations of harvests and sowing, ritual practices around the various sacred sites of the Altiplano, music and dances, trade at special ferias with farther away trading indigenous groups of Colombia and to inaugurate the new highest regarded member of the community, Zipas, Zaks, Caciques and the religious ruler Araca from sacred city of the Sun Chugamuxi, the Zipa at the moment of Spanish conquest was Tisquesusa. His main bohio was in Bacata with others in Funza and Cajica, giving name to the present-day capital of Colombia. A prophecy in his life came true, he would be dying, bathing in his own blood. Defending Funza with a reduced army of Getcha warriors against the heavily exhausted but heavily armed strangers, his reign fell in the hands of Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada and his younger brother Hernán Pérez on April 20, 1537. Upon his death, his brother Sagipa became the last Zipa, against the inheritance tradition of the Musca. Sagipa used to be a main captain for Tisquesusa but quickly submitted to the Spanish rulers. The first Incomenderos asked high prices in valuable products and agricultural production from the indigenous people. On top of that epidemics of European viruses raised through the population, of which in current Boyaca 65-85% of the Musca were killed within 100 years, Bogotá was founded by Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada traditionally on 6 August 1538. Other documents state a second establishment was done on April 27, 1539. Gonzalo Jiménez and main conquerors de Balalcazar and Fetterman, left for Spain in April 1539, founding Guadaqui together on April 6, 1539. The rule over the fresh new kingdom of Granada was left to Hernán. The first mayors of the city were Capitanes Pedro de Arevalo y Geronimo de Anzar. Bogotá became the capital of the later Viceroyalty of New Granada. With independence, Bogotá became capital of Gran Colombia and later the capital of the Republic of Colombia. <inaudible> Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada expedition From 1533, a belief persisted that the Rio Grande de la Magdalena was the trail to the South Sea, to Peru, legendary El Dorado. 
Such was the target of Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada, the Granadanian conquistador who left Santa Marta on 6 April 1536 with 800 soldiers, heading towards the interior of current Colombia. The expedition divided into two groups, one under Quesada's command to move on land, and the other commanded by Diego de Urbino would go up river in four brigantine ships to, later on, meet Quesada troops at the site named Torre de las Barrancas Bermejas. When they arrived, they heard news about Indians inhabiting the south and making large salt cakes used to trade for wild cotton and fish. Jimenez decided to abandon the route to Peru and cross the mountain in search of salt villages. They saw crops, trails, white salt cakes and then huts where they found corn, yucca and beans. From Tora, the expedition went up the open river and found indigenous people covered with very finely painted cotton mantles. When they arrived in Musca territories, of the expedition leaving Santa Marta, only 162 men were left. Topic. Spanish colonization On the other side to Plaza de Bolívar, the chapter and the royal audience were located. The street joining the major plaza and Herbs Plaza — Santander Park — was named Calle Real Royal Street, now Carrera Saptima or Seventh Street, counted from the mountains to the east of the city. Formed by Europeans, mestizos, indigenous people, and slaves, from the second half of the 16th century, the population began to grow rapidly. The 1789 census recorded 18,161 inhabitants, and by 1819 the city population reached 30,000 inhabitants distributed in 195 blocks. Importance grew when the diocese was established, the city mayor and the chapter formed by two councilmen, assisted by the constable and the police chief, governed the city. For better administration of these domains, in April 1550, the audience of Santa Fe de Bogotá was organized. At that time, the city became the capital and the home of New Kingdom of Granada government. Fourteen years later in 1564, the Spanish crown designated the first royal audience chairman, Andrés Díaz Venero de Leyva. 19th century Political unease felt all over Spanish colonies in America was expressed in New Granada in many different ways, accelerating the movement to independence. One of the most transcendent was the Revolution of Comuneros, a riot of the inhabitants started in Villa del Socorro, current department of Santander, in March 1781. Spanish authorities suppressed the riot, and José Antonio Galán, the leader, was executed. He left an imprint, though. He was followed in 1794 by Antonio Nariño, precursor of independence by translating and publishing in Santa Fe, The Rights of Men and the Citizen, and by the 20th of July movement leaders in 1810. Between 1819 and 1849, there were no fundamental structural changes from the colonial period. By the mid-19th century, a series of fundamental reforms were enacted, some of the most important being slavery abolition and religious, teaching, print and speech industry and trade freedom, among others. During the decade of the 70s, radicalism accelerated reforms and state and social institutions were substantially modified. However, during the second half of the century, the country faced permanent pronouncements, declarations of rebellions between states, and factions which resulted in civil wars. The last and bloodiest was the Thousand Days War from 1899 to 1902. In 1823, a few years after the formation of Gran Colombia, the public library, now the National Library, was enlarged and modernized with new volumes and better facilities. The National Museum was founded. Those institutions were of great importance to the new republic's cultural development. The Central University was the first state school, precursor of the current National University, founded in 1867 and domiciled in Bogotá. Regeneration President Rafael Núñez declared the end of federalism, and in 1886 the country became a centralist republic ruled by the constitution in force, save some amendments, up to 1981. In the middle of political and administration avatars, Bogotá continued as the capital and principal political center of the country. From a base of only 20,000 people in 1793, the city grew to approximately 117,000 people in 1912. Population growth was rapid after 1870, largely because of emigration from the eastern highlands. 
Topic: 20th century. Early in the 20th century, Colombia had to face devastating consequences from the 1000 Days War, which lasted from 1899 to 1902, and the loss of Panama. Between 1904 and 1909, the lawfulness of the Liberal Party was re-established and President Rafael Reyes endeavored to implement a national government. Peace and state reorganization generated the increase of economic activities. Bogotá started deep architectural and urban transformation with significant industrial and artisan production increases. In 1910, the Industrial Exposition of the Century took place at Park of Independence. Stans built evidenced industrial, artisan work, Bows R, electricity and machinery progress achieved. The period from 1910 to 1930 is designated conservative hegemony. Between 1924 and 1928, hard union struggles began, with oil fields and banana zone workers' strikes, leaving numerous people dead. Bogota had practically no industry. Production was basically artisan work grouped in specific places, similar to commercial sectors. Plaza de Bolivar and surroundings lodged hat stores, at Calle del Comercio Current Carrera 7th and Calle Florian now Carrera 8 luxurious stores selling imported products opened their doors, at Pasaje Hernandez, tailors' shops provided their services, and between 1870 and 1883, four main banks opened their doors, Bogotá, Colombia, Popular and Mortgage Credit Banks. Following the Banana Zone killings and Conservative Party division, Enrique Olaya Herrera took office in 1930. The Liberal Party reformed during 16 years of the so-called Liberal Republic, agricultural, social, political, labor, educational, economic and administrative sectors. Unionism strengthened and education coverage expanded, the celebration produced a large number of infrastructure works, new construction and work sources. Following the 1946 Liberal Party division, a conservative candidate took presidential office again in 1948. After the killing of Liberal leader Jorge Elacur Gaitan, Bogota's downtown was virtually destroyed as violence reigned. From then, Bogota's urban, architectural, and population sectors were substantially reorganized. Topic: 21st century. Topic. Geography Bogotá is located in the southeastern part of the Bogotá savanna Sabana de Bogotá at an average altitude of 2,640 metres 8 feet above sea level. The Bogotá savanna is popularly called savanna. Sabana, but constitutes actually a high plateau in the Andes Mountains, part of an extended region known as the Altiplano Cundiboyacens, which literally means High Plateau of Cundinamarca and Boyaca. In the extreme south of Bogota's district, the world's largest continuous Paramo ecosystem can be found, Samapas Paramo in the locality Samapas. The Bogota River running Ne Sw crosses the Sabana, forming Tequendama Falls Salto del Tequendama to the south. Tributary rivers form valleys with flourishing villages, whose economy is based on agriculture, livestock raising, and artisanal production. The Sabana is bordered to the east by the eastern cordillera of the Andes mountain range. The eastern hills, which limit city growth, run from south to north and form east of the center the Guadalupe and Montserrat Mountains. The western city limit is the Bogota River. The Samapas Paramo moorland borders the south and to the north Bogotá extends over the plateau up to the towns of Chia and Sopo. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Bogotá has a temperate oceanic climate, Köppen Cfb. The average temperature is 14.5 degrees Celsius, 58 degrees Fahrenheit, varying from 6 to 19 degrees Celsius, 43 to 66 degrees Fahrenheit on sunny days to 10 to 18 degrees Celsius, 50 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit on rainy days. Dry and rainy seasons alternate throughout the year. The driest months are December, January, July and August. The warmest month is March, bringing a maximum of 19.7 degrees Celsius 67.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The coolest nights occur in January, with an average of 7.6 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit in the city. Fog is very usual in early morning, 220 days per year, whilst clear sky sunny full days are quite unusual. The official highest temperature recorded within the city limits is 30.0 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest temperature recorded is minus 7.1 degrees Celsius, 19 degrees Fahrenheit. The rainiest months are April, May, September. October and November, in which typical days are mostly overcast, with low clouds and some winds, bringing maximum temperatures of 18 degrees Celsius 64 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of 7 degrees Celsius 45 degrees Fahrenheit. <inaudible> Urban layout and nomenclature Bogotá has 20 localities, or districts, forming an extensive network of neighborhoods. Areas of higher economic status tend to be located in the north, close to the eastern hills in the districts of Chapinero, Usakin and the east of Suba. The lower middle class inhabit the central, western and northwestern parts of the city. The working class neighborhoods are located in the south, some of them squatter areas. The urban layout in the center of the city is based on the focal point of a square or plaza, typical of Spanish founded settlements, but the layout gradually becomes more modern in outlying neighborhoods. The types of roads are classified as Kales streets, which run from west to east horizontally, with street numbers increasing towards the north, and also towards the south with the suffix sir from Calle Zero down south. Carreras roads run from north to south vertically, with numbering increasing from east to west, with the suffix este for roads east of Carrera Zero. At the southeast of the city, the addresses are logically sur este. Other types of roads more common in newer parts of the city may be termed EJE axis, diagonal or transversal. The numbering system for street addresses recently changed, and numbers are assigned according to street rank from main avenues to smaller avenues and local streets. Some of Bogota's main roads, which also go by a proper name in addition to a number, are Norte Quito Sur or NQS North Quito South Avenue, from 9th Road at North following railway to 30th Road, or Quito City Avenue, and Southern Highway Autopista Norte Avenida Caracas Northern Highway, or 45th Road, joined to Caracas Avenue, or 14th Road Avenida Circunvalar or 1st Road Avenida Suba 60th transversal from 100th Street The Suba Hills, 145th Street from Suba Hills westward Avenida El Dorado, El Dorado Avenue, or 26th Street. Avenida de las Americas, Avenue of the Americas, from 34th Street at east to 6th Street at west. Avenida Primero de Mayo, May 1st Avenue, or 22nd Street South. Avenida Ciudad de Cali, Cali City Avenue, or 86th Road. Avenida Boyaca, Boyaca Avenue, or 72nd Road. Autopista Sur, Southern Highway. Topic. Localities districts. Topic. Surrounding towns Topic. Demographics The largest and most populous city in Colombia, Bogotá had 6,778,691 inhabitants within the city's limits 2005 census, with a population density of approximately 4,310 inhabitants per square kilometer. Only 15,810 people are located in rural areas of Capital District, 47.5% of the population are male and 52.5% women. In Bogotá, as in the rest of the country, urbanization has accelerated due to industrialization as well as complex political and social reasons such as poverty and violence, which led to migration from rural to urban areas throughout the 20th and 21st centuries. A dramatic example of this is the number of displaced people who have arrived in Bogota due to the internal armed conflict. Some estimates show that Bogota's floating population may be as high as 4 million people, most of them being migrant workers from other departments and displaced people. The majority of the displaced population lives in the Ciudad Bolivar, Kennedy, USME, and Bosa sections. The ethnic composition of the city's population includes minorities of Afro-Colombian people 1.5% and indigenous Amerindians 0.2%. 98.27% of the population has no ethnic affiliation but are mestizos and whites. 
Topic: Crime. Bogota has gone to great lengths to change its formerly notorious crime rate and its image with increasing success after being considered in the 1990s to be one of the most violent cities in the world. In 1993 there were 4,352 murders at a rate of 81 per 100,000 people, in 2007 Bogotá suffered 1,401 murders at a rate of 20 per 100,000 inhabitants, and had a further reduction to 14 per 100,000 inhabitants in 2017 the lowest since 1979. This success was mainly the result of a participatory and integrated security policy, Comunidad Segura, that was first adopted in 1995 and continues to be enforced. 1.2% of street addresses account for 99% of homicides. Topic government Bogotá is the capital of the Republic of Colombia, and houses the Congress, Supreme Court of Justice and the center of the executive administration as well as the residence of the President Casa de Nariño. These buildings, along with the office of the mayor, the Liavano Palace Palacio Liavano, are located within a few meters from each other on the Bolívar Square Plaza de Bolívar. The square is located in the city's historical center, La Candelaria, which features architecture in Spanish colonial and Spanish Baroque styles. The mayor of Bogotá and the city council, both elected by popular vote, are responsible for city administration. In 2015 Enrique Peñalosa was elected mayor, his term runs from 2016 to 2019. The city is divided into 20 localities, Usacan, Chapinero, Santa Fe, San Cristobal, USME, Tunuelito, Bosa, Kennedy, Fontibon, Engadiva, Suba, Barrios Unidos, Toishakio, Los Martires, Antonio Nariño, Puente Aranda, La Candelaria, Rafael Uribe Uribe, Ciudad Bolívar and Samapas. Each of the 20 localities is governed by an administrative board elected by popular vote, made up of no fewer than seven members. The mayor designates local mayors from candidates nominated by the respective administrative board. Topic economy Bogotá is the main economic and industrial center of Colombia. The Colombian government fosters the import of capital goods, Bogotá being one of the main destinations of these imports. In 2016 the World Cities Study Group and Network GAWC from the United Kingdom ranked Bogotá as an alpha-minus world city in the World Cities Study Group's inventory, a high ranking. Alpha and alpha cities are important world cities that link major economic regions into the world economy. Topic tourism Travel and tourism's share of the city's overall GDP stands at 2.5%. Bogotá is responsible for 56% of the tourism that arrives to Colombia and is home 1,423 multinational companies. Bogotá also ranked highly as a global city where business is done and meetings are held. Bogotá is a growing international meetings destination. During the last year, Bogotá has won 50 major international events, with 12 more world class events in progress. The 16th World Summit of Nobel Peace Laureates took place from February 2 to 5, 2017, in Bogotá, Colombia. One Young World is the preeminent global forum for young leaders aged 18 to 30. Bogotá, Colombia is the host city for Summit 2017. The hotels in the historical center of La Candelaria and its surrounding areas cater to lovers of culture and the arts. This area also has the bulk of hostels in the city as well. In La Candelaria, there are many museums, including the Botero Museum and the Gold Museum. Close to La Candelaria is the Cerro Montserrat, which you can reach by cable car or funicular. The hotels located near Ciudad Salitre are intended for visitors who make short stops in Bogotá and near El Dorado International Airport. Important landmarks and tourist stops in Bogotá include the Botanical Garden José Celestino Mutis, the Quinta de Bolívar, the National Observatory, the Planetarium, Maloca, the Calpatria Observation Point, the Observation Point of La Calera, the Monument of the American Flags, and La Candelaria the historical district of the city. There is also Usakin, a colonial landmark where brunch and flea market on Sundays is a traditional activity. The city has numerous green parks and amusement parks like Salitre Magico or Mundo Aventura. Green areas surrounding Bogotá are perfect locations for eco tourism and hiking activities. In the eastern mountains of the city, just a few minutes walking from main roads, there are Quebrada La Vieja and Chapinero waterfalls, two of many green spots for sightseeing and tourism with clean air. There are also several areas of the city where fine restaurants can be found. 
The G Zone, the T Zone, and La Macarena are well known for their gastronomic offerings. Since the 2000s, major hotel chains have established in the city. Bogota has a great cultural diversity, coming from different regions of the country, which allows the tourist to know the multiculturalism of the country without the need to travel to other cities. This includes gastronomy and different festivals. Topic: <laughs> Shopping malls. Bogota's economy has been significantly boosted due to new shopping malls built within the last few years. As of December 2011, over 160 new malls are planned in addition to the existing 100 malls. Notable malls include Centro Andino Centro Mayor Santa Fe Gran Estación Portal de la 80 Titan Plaza Colima Atlantis Plaza Unicentro Haywellos Topic. Media Bogotá is home to several television stations like Canal Capital and City TV, which are local stations, Canal 13 is a regional station, and is home to the national channels Caracol TV, RCN TV, Canal Uno, Canal Institucional, and Señal Colombia. It has multiple satellite television services like Telefonica, Claro and DirecTV and several satellite dishes which offer hundreds of international channels, plus several exclusive channels for Bogotá. In Bogotá, all the major radio networks in the country are available, in both AM and FM, 70% of the FM stations offer RDS service. There are several newspapers, including El Tiempo, El Espectador and El Nuevo Siglo, plus economical dailies La República and Portfolio, tabloids El Espacio, Cuhubo, and Extra. Bogotá also offers three free newspapers, two Spanish, ADN and Publimetro, and one English, The Bogotá Post. Infrastructure <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy and sewer bills are stratified based on the location of owner's residence. The system is the classification of the residential properties that should receive public services. Although the system does not consider the income per person and the rules say that the residential real estate should stratify and not households. All mayors should do the stratification of residential properties of their municipality or district. Bogota's social strata have been divided as follows and have been extensively used by the government as a reference to develop social welfare programs, statistical information, and to some degree for the assignment of lands. Estrato 1 lowest, Estrato 2 low, Estrato 3 mid low, Estrato 4 mid high, Estrato 5 high. Estrato 6 highest Topic Transport Bogota's growth has placed a strain on its roads and highways but since 1998 significant efforts to upgrade the infrastructure have been undertaken Private car ownership forms a major part of the congestion in addition to taxis buses and commercial vehicles Buses remain the main means of mass transit there are two bus systems, the traditional system and the Transmilenio. The traditional system runs a variety of bus types, operated by several companies on normal streets and avenues, bus large buses, buseta medium-size buses and collectivo vans or minivans. The bigger buses were divided into two categories, ejecutivo, which was originally to be a deluxe service and was not to carry standing passengers, and corriente or normal service. Since May 2008, all buses run as Corriente services. Bogotá is a hub for domestic and international bus routes. The Bogotá terminal serves routes to most cities and towns in Colombia and is the largest in the country. There is international service to Ecuador, Peru and Venezuela. The Transmilenio system was created during Enrique Peñalosa's mayoral term, and is a form of bus rapid transit that has been deployed as a measure to compensate for the lack of a subway or rail system. Transmilenio combines articulated buses that operate on dedicated bus roads busways and smaller buses feeders that operate in residential areas, bringing passengers to the main grid. Transmilenio's main routes are, Caracas Avenue, Northern Highway Autopista Norte, 80th Street, Americas Avenue, Jimenez Avenue, and 30th Avenue also referred to as Norte Quito Sur or NQS for short. 
Routes for Suba Avenue and Southern Highway Autopista Sur, the southern leg of the 30th Avenue, were opened in April 2006. The third phase of the system will cover 7th Avenue, 10th Avenue, and 26th Street or Avenida El Dorado. The system is planned to cover the entire city by 2030. Although the Transmilenio carries commuters to numerous corners of the city, it is more expensive 80 United States cents or 2,300 cop than any public transport, except taxis. Despite the city's chronic congestion, many of the ideas enacted during the Peñalosa years are regarded worldwide to be cost-effective, efficient and unique solutions. In addition to Transmilenio, the Peñalosa administration and voter-approved referenda helped to establish travel restrictions on cars with certain license plate numbers during peak hours called Pico y Placa, 121 kilometers 75 miles of Ciclovia on Sundays and major holidays, a massive system 376 kilometers 234 miles as of 2013 of bicycle paths and segregated lanes called Ciclorutas, and the removal of thousands of parking spots in an attempt to make roads more pedestrian-friendly and discourage car use. Ciclorutas is one of the most extensive dedicated bike path networks of any city in the world, with a total extension of 376 kilometers 234 miles. It extends from the north of the city, 170th Street, to the south, 27th Street, and from Montserrat on the east to the Bogotá River on the west. The Cicloruta was started by the 1995-1998 Antanas Macas administration with a few kilometers, and considerably extended during the administration of Mayor Peñalosa with the development of a bicycle master plan and the addition of paths hundreds of kilometers in extent. Since the construction of the Cicloruta bicycle use in the city has increased, and a car-free week was introduced in 2014. Airports. Bogota's main airport is El Dorado International Airport, with an approximate area of 6.9 square kilometers located west of the city's downtown in the Fontibon locality. It is the third most important airport in Latin America after Mexico City International Airport and Sao Paulo Garulas International Airport and it is the most important airport in Colombia. Construction of the airport was ordered by Gustavo Rojas Pinilla, 19th president of Colombia, in 1955 to replace the Aeropuerto de Teco. Due to its central location in Colombia and in Latin America, it is a hub for Colombia's flagship carrier Avianca, Copa Airlines Colombia and Latam Colombia. It is also serviced by a number of international airlines including American, Delta, United, Air France, KLM, Turkish Airlines, JetBlue and Lufthansa. The national airport has begun to take more responsibility due to the congestion at the international airport. In response to the high demand of approximately 27 million passengers per year, a new airport, El Dorado II, is planned to be built by 2021, to help alleviate traffic at the main airport. A secondary airport, CATAM, serves as a base for military and police aviation. This airport, which uses the runways of El Dorado will eventually move to Madrid, a nearby town in the region of Cundinamarca, leaving further space to expand El Dorado. Guaymaral Airport is another small airport located in the northern boundaries of Bogotá. It is used mainly for private aviation activities. <laughs> <laughs> Urban and suburban railways Bogotá has little railway transit infrastructure, following the collapse of the tram network, although a number of plans hope to change that. The Bogotá metro has been pushed forward by two successive governments, and proponents hope that construction will soon begin. Plans to construct railways in and out of the city, replacing defunct routes, have been delayed due to the pressing need for transport within the city. <laughs> Bicycle infrastructure. Bogotá is the Colombian city with the most extensive and comprehensive network of bike paths. Bogotá's bike paths network or Ciclorutas de Bogotá in Spanish, designed and built during the administration of mayors Antanas Macas and Enrique Peñalosa, is also one of the most extensive in the world and the most extensive in Latin America. The network is integrated with the Transmilenio bus system which has bicycle parking facilities. Bogotá implemented a healthy habit called Ciclovia, where principal highways are closed from 7 a.m. till 2 p.m. on Sundays and public holidays, therefore, the people ride their bikes to enjoy the city as well as exercise. 
In the same way just on December the same activity is carried out in the night, there are some special activities such as fireworks, street theater performances, and street food just to mention a few. Since 4 April 2016 the Carrera 11 has been reduced from four to three car lanes and a new bike lane has been inaugurated. Tramway On 25 December 1884, the first tramway pulled by mules was inaugurated and covered the route from Plaza de Bolívar to Chapinero, and in 1892, the line connecting Plaza de Bolívar and La Sabana station started operating. The tramway ran over wooden rails and was easily derailed, so steel rails imported from England were eventually installed. In 1894, a tramway car ran the bogotá chapinero line every 20 minutes. The tram system eventually grew to cover most of the city and its surrounding suburbs. But during the Bogotazo riots of 1948, the system suffered heavy damage and was forced to close. The economic effects of the subsequent civil war that followed prevented the damage from being repaired. Parts of the system continued to operate in a reduced state until 1951, when they were replaced by buses. Most of the streetcar tracks were eventually paved over, but exposed tracks can still be seen on many of the older roads of the city, especially downtown and in the La Candelaria area, although it has been about 70 years since any vehicles have run on them. <laughs> Bogotá public transportation statistics The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Bogotá, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 97 minutes. 32% of public transit riders, ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 20 minutes, while 40% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 8 km, while 16% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. <laughs> <laughs> Colleges and universities Known as the Athens of South America, Bogotá has an extensive educational system of both primary and secondary schools and colleges. Due to the constant migration of people into the nation's capital, the availability of quotas for access to education offered by the state free of charge is often insufficient. The city also has a diverse system of colleges and private schools. There are a number of universities, both public and private. In 2002, there were a total of 114 higher education institutions. In Bogota, there are several universities, most partially or fully accredited by the NAC, National Accreditation Council, National University of Colombia, University of the Andes, Colombia, District University of Bogota, La Salle University, Colombia, University of La Sabana, Pontifical Javierian University, Our Lady of the Rosary University, Universidad Externado de Colombia, Military University Nueva Granada, University of America, Sergio Arboleda University, Jorge Tadeo Lozano University, Pilot University of Colombia, Catholic University of Colombia, St. Thomas Aquinas University and Universidad Pedagógica Nacional. The city has a university city at the National University of Colombia campus located in the traditional sector Toishakio. It is the largest campus in Colombia and one of the largest in Latin America. Culture Bogotá has many cultural venues including 58 museums, 62 art galleries, 33 library networks, 45 stage theaters, 75 sports and attraction parks, and over 150 national monuments. Many of these are renowned globally such as the Luis Ángel Arango Library, the most important in the region which receives well over 6 million visitors a year. The Colombian National Museum, one of the oldest in the Americas, dating back to 1823. The Ibero-American Theater Festival, largest of its kind in the world, receives 2 million attendees enjoying over 450 performances across theaters and off the street. The Bogotá Philharmonic is the most important symphony orchestra in Colombia, with over 100 musicians and 140 performances a year. The city has been a member of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network in the category of music since March 2012. The Cristobal Colon Theater, the country's oldest opera house, opened in 1892. 
It is home to the National Symphony Association's major act, the National Symphony Orchestra of Columbia. Rock Al Park or Rock at the Park is an open air rock music festival. Recurring annually, it gathers over 320,000 music fans who can enjoy over 60 band performances for free during three days a year. The series have been so successful during its 15 years of operation that the city has replicated the initiative for other music genres, resulting in other recent festivals like Salsa at the Park, Hip Hop at the Park, Ballet at the Park, Opera at the Park, and Jazz at the Park. Kids' Choice Awards Columbia, are the most important awards given in the city by Nickelodeon and the first ceremony was given in 2014 by the singer Maluma and in Corferias the ceremony has been the home of shows given by artists like Austin Mahone, Carlos Peña, Don Teto and Riva among others. Bogotá has worked in recent years to position itself as leader in cultural offerings in South America, and it is increasingly being recognized worldwide as a hub in the region for the development of the arts. In 2007, Bogotá was awarded the title of Cultural Capital of Ibero-America by the UCHI Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities, and it became the only city to have received the recognition twice, after being awarded for the first time in 1991. <laughs> Cultural history Bogotá gave the Spanish-speaking world José Asunción Silva 1865-1896, modernism pioneer. His poetic work in the novel De Sobremesa has a place in outstanding American literature. Rafael Pombo 1833-1912 was an American Romanticism poet who left a collection of fables essential part of children imagination and Colombian tradition. Topic. Architecture. The urban morphology and typology of colonial buildings in Bogotá have been maintained since the late 19th century, long after the independence of Colombia 1810. This persistence of the colonial setting is still visible, particularly in La Candelaria, the historical center of Bogotá. Also kept up are the colonial houses of two stories, with courtyards, gabled roofs, ceramic tiles and balconies. In some cases, these balconies were enclosed with glass windows during the Republican period, a distinguishing feature of the architecture of the sector for example, the House of Rafael Pombo, Republican architecture, was the style that prevailed between 1830 and 1930. Although there were attempts to consolidate a modern architectural language, the only examples seen are University City and White City at the National University of Columbia constructed 1936 to 1939. This work was developed by German architect Leopold Rother, although architects of rationalist trends participated in the design of campus buildings. We also see in Bogotá architecture trends such as Art Deco, Expressionism and Organic Architecture. This last trend was typified by Bogotá architects in the second half of the 20th century such as Rogelio Salmona. Although renowned for its beautiful preservation of colonial architecture, there are also significant contemporary architecture examples found in the downtown and at the north of the city. In 2015, BD Bacata was inaugurated, surpassing the Calpatria Tower to become the tallest building of the city and of Colombia. The building is expected to be the beginning of the city's downtown renovation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Libraries and Archives. In 2007 Bogotá was named World Book Capital by UNESCO. Bogotá is the first Latin American city to receive this recognition, and the second one in the Americas after Montreal. It stood out in programs, the library network and the presence of organizations that, in a coordinated manner, are working to promote books and reading in the city. Several specific initiatives for the World Book Capital program have been undertaken with the commitment of groups, both public and private, engaged in the book sector. The city is home to the Biblard, an institution which administers 16 small and four large public libraries Biblioteca Virgilio Barco, Biblioteca El Tintal, Biblioteca El Tunal and Biblioteca Julio Mario Santo Domingo. It also has six branches of the library network of the Family Compensation Fund Colsubsidio and libraries and documentation centers attached to institutions like the Museo Nacional de Colombia specializing in old books, catalogues and art, Museum of Modern Art, the Alliance Francaise, and the Centro Colombo Americano. Another set of libraries are the new collaborative initiatives between the state, city and international agencies. 
Examples are the cultural center Gabriel Garcia Marquez, custom designed by the Fondo de Cultura Económica in Mexico, and the Spanish Cultural Center, which will begin construction with public funds and of the Spanish government in downtown Bogotá. The National Library of Colombia 1777, a dependence of the Ministry of Culture and the Biblioteca Luis Ángel Arango 1958, a dependence of the Bank of the Republic are the two largest public libraries in the city. The first is the repository of more than two million volumes, with an important collection of ancient books. The latter has almost two million volumes, and with 45,000 square meters square feet in size, it hosts 10,000 visitors a day. The library Alfonso Palacio Rudas is also a dependence of the Bank of the Republic, and is located at the north of the city, with about 50,000 volumes. Other large public libraries are the Library of Congress in Colombia with 100,000 volumes, of the Instituto Caro y Cuervo with nearly 200,000 volumes, the largest Latin American library in philology and linguistics, the Library of the Academy of History the Library of the Academy of Language, the Library of the Colombian Institute of Anthropology and History ICANH, and many university libraries. Bogotá is home to historical records housed in the General National Archive, a collection of about 60 million documents, one of the largest repositories of primary historical sources in Latin America. Bogotá is also home to the musical archive of the Cathedral of Bogotá with thousands of books and choral song colonial period, the Archdiocesan Archive, the Archive of the Conciliar Seminary of Bogotá, the Archive History National University of Colombia and the Archive of the Mint in Bogotá, under the Bank of the Republic. Museums and galleries The city offers 58 museums and over 70 art galleries. The Colombian National Museum has acquisitions divided into four collections, art, history, archaeology and ethnography. The Gold Museum, with 35,000 pieces of Tumbaga gold, along with 30,000 objects in ceramic, stone and textiles, represents the largest collection of pre-Columbian gold in the world. The Botero Museum has 123 works of Fernando Botero and 87 works by international artists. The Museum of Modern Art in Bogotá has a collection of graphic arts, industrial design and photography. The Museum of Colonial Art is home to an important collection of colonial art from Colombia. Fundación Gilberto Altzate Avendaño hosts activities related to the performing arts and shows temporary exhibits of art in its halls and galleries. Among the scientific museums are the Archaeological Museum, Casa del Marques de San Jorge, which has about 30,000 pieces of pre Columbian art, Instituto de Ciencias Naturales, UN, one of the four largest museums of natural sciences in Latin America, and the Geological Museum, which has a collection specializing in geology and paleontology. Bogota has historical museums like the Jorge Eliaser Gaitan Museum, the Museum of Independence, Museo de la Independencia, the Quinta de Bolivar, and the Casa Museo Francisco José de Caldas, as well as the headquarters of Maloca and the Children's Museum of Bogota. New museums include the Art Deco and the Museum of Bogota. Topic: <laughs> Theater and Arts. Besides the Ibero-American Theater Festival, the largest theater festival in the world, the city has 45 theaters, the principal ones are the Colón Theater, the newly built Teatro Mayor Julio Mario Santo Domingo, the National Theater with its two venues, the traditional TPB Hall, the Theater of La Candelaria, the Cameron del Carmen over 400 years old, formerly a convent, the Colsubsidio, and a symbol of the city, the renovated Teatro Jorge Eliaser Gaitan the highest capacity in South America, Leon de Grief Auditorium home of the Bogota Philharmonic Orchestra, and the open-air theater, La Media Torta, where musical events are also held. The Ibero-American Theater Festival, is not the only acclaimed festival. There are many other regional and local theater festivals that are celebrated and maintain the city active year-round. Amongst the most populars is the Alternative Theater Festival. Bogotá has its own film festival, the Bogotá Film Festival, and many theaters, showing both contemporary films and art cinema. The main cultural center of the city is the La Candelaria, historic center of the city, with a concentration of universities and museums. In 2007 Bogotá was designated the Ibero-American cultural capital of Ibero-America. Religion 
Before the Spanish conquest, the beliefs of the inhabitants of Bogotá formed part of the Musca religion. From the colonial period onwards, the city has been predominantly Roman Catholic. Proof of this religious tradition is the number of churches built in the historic city center. The city has been seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Bogotá since the 22nd of March 1564. The seat of the archbishop is the primatial cathedral of Bogotá. The archdiocese itself is located in new buildings in the north of the city. However, a large group of the population nowadays declares itself non-practicing. The city has a mosque located in the area of Chapinero called the Istanbul Mosque, a mosque being built on the Calle 80 with CRA 30 called Abu Bakr al Sadiq Mosque, and which is the first in the city to have the traditional Islamic architecture, and an Islamic center called Al Kurchubai. The main Ashkenazi Jewish synagogue, there are a total of four synagogues in Bogota, is located on 94th Street, also called State of Israel Avenue. An Eastern Orthodox Church and the San Pablo Anglican Cathedral, the Mother Church of the Episcopal Church in Colombia, are both located in Chapinero. The Bogotá Colombia Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is located in the Niza neighborhood. There are four Buddhist centers located in the north of the city. There is also a wide variety of Protestant churches in different parts of the city, including the Bogotá Baptist Chapel, the Nondenominational Union Church, and the St. Matthias Evangelical Lutheran Church which holds services in German as well as Spanish for the German Colombian community. Cuisine <coughs> 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 There is a broad array of restaurants in Bogotá that serve typical and international food. Parque de la 93, Usakan, Zona T, the G Zone, La Macarena, La Candelaria and the International Center are some of the main sectors where a number of international restaurants are found, ranging from Argentinian, Peruvian, Venezuelan, Brazilian, Mexican, American establishments to Arabic, Asian, French, Italian, Russian and British bistros, rotisseries, steakhouses and pubs, just to name a few. Typical dishes of Bogotá include the agiaco, a soup prepared with chicken, a variety of potatoes, corn on the cob, and guascas, an herb, usually served with sour cream and capers, and accompanied by avocado and rice. Tamale is a very traditional Bogotá dish. Colombian tamal is a paste made with rice, beef, pork and or chicken depending on the region, chickpea, carrot, and spices, wrapped in plantain leaves and steam cooked. Figs with arequipe, strawberries with cream, poster de natas and cuajada con malao are some of the main desserts offered in the city. Canelazo is a hot drink from the Altiplano prepared with aguapanela, cinnamon and aguardiente. Another hot beverage is the carajillo, made with coffee tinto as it is known in Colombia and aguardiente. Topic. Parks and recreation There are numerous parks in Bogotá, many with facilities for concerts, plays, movies, storytellers and other activities. Simón Bolívar Metropolitan Park is a large park regularly used to stage free concerts such as the annual Rock Al Park, a festival in which popular and or recently formed international, Latin American, and Colombian rock bands play free of charge. The public park Nacional National Park has green spaces, ponds, games for children, foot and bicycle paths, and venues for entertainment such as public screenings of movies and concerts and events organized by the Council of Bogotá. The Bogotá Botanical Garden Jardín Botánico de Bogotá Park de la 93 has daytime leisure activities and nightlife. Several of the top restaurants and bars in the city are in this park. The park is known around the world like the Colombian Pike Place by having the first Starbucks in all the country and Carl's Jr. as well. Mundo Aventura is an amusement park, with an entry charge and charges for the different attractions. It has rides for adults and children, a petting zoo, and the Cerdodromo, where pigs race. Salitre Magico is another amusement park with rides and attractions. The park is near the Simón Bolívar Park, where concerts are held throughout the year. Park del Chico has trees, gardens, artificial creeks and ponds, and a colonial-style house converted into a museum, Museo del Chico. To the north of Bogotá, in the municipality of Tocancipa, Jamie Duque Park has rides, a giant map of Colombia, popular exhibits, a zoo, and a big hand holding the world symbolizing God. There is a reproduction of the Taj Mahal in the park with a collection of reproductions of famous paintings. 
The park is also used for large concerts, mainly electronic music ones. Maloka is an interactive museum of sciences. Tourist train is a sightseeing train, popular with Bogota residents, which runs to outlying towns Zipaquira, Cajica and Nimocan along the lines of the former Bogota Savannah Railway on weekends. The route to Zipaquira famous for its salt cathedral is 53 kilometers 33 miles long. Another line goes towards the north for 47 kilometers 29 miles and ends at Briseño. The Usakan Park is another of the most important parks in the city. Several of the best restaurants in this city are located there. Is recognized to have street performers such as storytellers, magicians, jugglers, etc. and also for being one of the most decorated parks in the city during Christmas time. Topic: Sports. The District Institute for Recreation and Sport promotes recreation, sports and use of the parks in Bogotá. Football has been declared a symbol of Bogotá, and is widely played in the city. There are three professional clubs in the city, Santa Fe, Millonarios, and La Equidad. The main stadium in the city is the Campan Stadium Estadio Nemesio Camacho El Campan home of the local teams Santa Fe and Millonarios. In 2001 the Campan Stadium has been the place for the 2001 Copa America final between the Colombia National Football and the Mexico National Football, final score 1-0 in favor of the home team and finally getting their first Continental Cup. The other soccer venue is the multi-use Teco Metropolitan Stadium which is the home of La Equidad. Other major sporting venues are the Covered Coliseum El Campan, the Simón Bolívar Aquatic Complex, the Sports Palace, the El Salitre Sports Venue which includes the Luis Carlos Galán Velodrome which hosted the 1995 UCI Track Cycling World Championships, the El Salitre Diamond Ballpark and the BMX track, Mario Andrés Soto. Bogotá hosted the first Bolivarian Games held in 1938. The city hosted the national games in 2004, winning the championship. It was a sub-venue Bolivarian Pan American Games. In addition, the city on the route of the Tour of Colombia. After being a major venue city for the 2011 FIFA U-20 World Cup that was held in Colombia, the Colombian Football Federation announced that Bogotá will be one of the venue cities to host the 2016 FIFA Futsal World Cup as well. Topic. Sports teams Topic. Symbols The flag originated with the insurgency movement against the colonial authorities which began on 20 July 1810, during which the rebels wore armbands with yellow and red bands, as these colors were those of the Spanish flag used as the flag for the New Kingdom of Granada. On 9 October 1952, exactly 142 years after these events, Decree 555 of 1952 officially adopted the patriotic armband as the flag of Bogotá. The flag of Cundinamarca follows the same pattern, plus a light blue tile which represents the Virgin Mary's cape. The flag itself is a yellow band above a red one. The yellow denotes the gold from the earth, as well as the virtues of justice, clemency, benevolence, the so-called mundane qualities, defined as nobility, excellence, richness, generosity, splendor, health, steadfastness, joy and prosperity, long life, eternity, power and constancy. The red denotes the virtue of charity, as well as the qualities of bravery, nobility, values, audacity, victory, honor, and furor. Colombians call it the blood of their people. The coat of arms of the city was granted by Emperor Charles V, Charles I of Spain, to the New Kingdom of Granada by royal decree given in Valladolid, Spain, on the 3rd of December 1548. It contains a black eagle in the center, which symbolizes steadfastness. The eagle is also a symbol of the Habsburgs, which was the ruling family of the Spanish Empire at the time. The eagle is crowned with gold and holds a red pomegranate inside a golden background. The border contains olive branches with nine golden pomegranates on a blue background. The two red pomegranates symbolize audacity, and the nine golden ones represent the nine states which constituted the new kingdom of Granada at the time. In 1932, the coat of arms was officially recognized and adopted as the symbol of Bogota. Bogota's anthem lyrics were written by Pedro Medina Avendaño. The melody was composed by Roberto Pineda Duque. 
The song was officially declared the anthem by Decree 1000 the 31st of July 1974 by then mayor of Bogota, Anibal Fernandez de Soto. Topic: <laughs> International Relations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities. Bogota is twinned with New York City, USA. London, United Kingdom Chicago, USA 2009. Beirut, Lebanon Washington, D.C. USA Seoul, South Korea Dubai, United Arab Emirates 2008, Miami, USA 1971, Tehran, Iran Lahore, Pakistan Topic Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities Bogota is part of the Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities from 12 October 1982 establishing brotherly relations with the following cities. Topic partnerships and cooperations Other forms of cooperation and city friendship similar to the Twin City programs exist. Turin, Italy Topic Panoramas topic Notable people from Bogotá topic See also Bogotá Portal Bogotá's Carnival Rail Transport in Colombia Transport in Colombia World's Largest Cities topic References topic Bibliography and further reading on pre-Columbian Bogotá topic pre musca Coriol Urigo, Gonzalo, 1990. Evidencias Culturales Durante el Pleistocene y Holoceno de Colombia, Cultural Evidences During the Pleistocene and Holocene of Colombia. Revista de Arqueología Americana 1. 69-89. Accessed 8 July 2016. Topic Economy Arguello Garcia, Pedro Maria, 2015. Subsistence Economy and Chiefdom Emergence in the Musca Area. A Study of the Valle de Tina, Ph.D., 1-193. University of Pittsburgh. Accessed 8 July 2016. Francis, John Michael, 1993. Muchas Hipas, No Minas. The Muscas, A Merchant Society, Spanish Misconceptions and Demographic Change MA, 1-118. University of Alberta. Topic Society and Tunjos Cooper, Jago, and Carl Henrik Langebeck, 2013. The Lost Kingdoms of South America, Episode 3 Lands of Gold. Accessed 14 July 2016. Gamboa Mendoza, Jorge, 2016. Las Muscas, Grupos Indigenas del Nuevo Reino de Granada. Una nueva propuesta sobre su organización socio-política y su evolución en el siglo XVI, the Musca, indigenous groups of the New Kingdom of Granada. A new proposal on their social-political organization and their evolution in the 16th century. Museo del Oro. Accessed 8 July 2016. Topic Agriculture Boda Rivas, Ana Maria, 2006. Patronas de Asentamiento Regional y Sistemas de Agricultura Intensiva en Cota y Suba, Sabana de Bogotá Colombia, Regional Settlement Patterns and Intensive Agricultural Systems in Cota and Suba, Bogotá Savannah Colombia, 1-181. Banco de la República. Accessed 8 July 2016. Broadbent, Silvia M. 1968. A Prehistoric Field System in Chibcha Territory, Colombia. Nyapa Pacha, Journal of Andean Archaeology 6. 135-147. Astronomy and Calendar Izquierdo Peña, Manuel Arturo, 2014. Calendario Musca, Musca Calendar. Accessed 8 July 2016. Cuisine Daza, Blanca Isabel, 2013. Historia del proceso de mestizaje alimentario entre Colombia y España, History of the Integration Process of Foods between Colombia and Spain PhD, 1-494. Universitat de Barcelona. Topic Mythology and Religion Ocampo López, Javier, 2013. Midas y leyendas indígenas de Colombia, Indigenous Myths and Legends of Colombia, 1-219. Plaza and Jane's Editors Colombia S.A. Ocampo López, Javier, 2007. Grandes Culturas Indígenas de América, Great Indigenous Cultures of the Americas, 1-238. Plaza and Jane's Editors Columbia S.A. Topic Women in Early Colonial Bogotá Groot, Ana Maria. 2014-2008. Sal y Poder en el Altiplano de Bogotá, 1537-1640, 1-174. Universidad Nacional de Colombia. Topic Early Colonial Musca Francis, John Michael, 2002. 
Poblacion, Enfermedad y Cambio Demográfico, 1537 1636. Demografía Histórica de Tunja, Una Mirada Crítica. Fronteras de la Historia 7. 13 76. Topic. External links In Spanish Official Website Bogotá Official Tourism Guide